This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. JV Skill. This episode, we're going to break things up a little bit. We're going to do a basic rope toss. Now, to do the basic rope toss, you're going to want to start with the rope in a straight line out in front of you. Now, the goal, you want to make this rope as straight as you can. You don't want to have it all curled up in front of you or this isn't going to work. So you want to make sure it's out in a nice straight line out in front of you. Now, once you're set there, the hand that's going to be holding the rope, you're going to want to take that hand, you're going to bend at the elbow, you're going to bring that hand up towards your face nice and easy. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to come from here, you're going to pull it up nice and easy, and your goal is going to be able to catch that handle. Now, you don't want to pull too hard, the rope's going to go swinging up over your head, and if you don't pull hard enough, it's going to end up either really low or not even get to you. So you want to make sure you have enough force on it where it's going to come up, but not too much. So once again, you're going to pull that arm up, catch, and the rope should be right in front of you. Now, from here, you're going to want to add a jump. Now, to do that, you're going to start out here again. You're going to pull your arm up. This time, once you catch the handle, you'll notice the rope's been in front of us before. You're going to want to actually jump the rope when it comes up to you. So it comes up, catch, and try to jump. And one more time. Rope out in a straight line. Pull it up nice and easy. Catch and jump. Now, once you've got that down, you need to learn how to get into the rope release from jumping. Now, the easiest way to do this with the rope toss is to start off by jumping backwards. Now, you jump backwards. Once you jump over the rope, you're going to let go, release, and then catch. Now, a couple things to notice here when I release. When I jump over the rope and release, the first thing I'm doing is I'm allowing the rope to slide on the ground. I'm not having the rope swinging in midair because that makes it a lot more difficult to do this rope toss. So you're going to want to make sure when you jump, release, actually have the rope hitting the ground while you're doing this. So you'll release, let the rope slide. Once the rope's all the way out at full length, you're going to want to pull the rope back and then catch it and then try to jump it. So you're going to go from backwards, jump, touch to the ground, catch, and then jump forward. So once again, you'll start off backwards, jump, hits the ground, catch, and then jump forward. Now to make it a little bit more difficult, you can also do it where the rope is out in mid-air when you do this rope release. It comes out, catch, and jump. That's a little bit harder to do. So you want to make sure that when you're first doing this, that you're actually allowing the rope to hit the ground, slide on the ground, then pop it back up and catch it. And the other thing, too, to watch for is try to catch the handle. You don't want to catch down on the rope. Now, you can still usually catch a jump or two afterwards, but it's a lot easier if you catch the handle because you've got the full length of the rope to jump with once you catch it. So one more time. You jump, release, catch, and jump. And a r real little trick here, too, if you happen to catch it down, instead of holding the rope really tight with your hand, sort of just hold it with a little bit of a circle with your hand, and that'll allow the rope to slide back out while you're jumping with it. So if you're here, you just kind of hold it just nice and easy, and the rope will slide right back up into your hand, and you're able to continue jumping. So that's the basic rope release. The varsity skill. The varsity skill this episode will be covering an oldie but a goodie. This is the TJ Triple Cross. Most people that have been jumping a long time have usually gotten to be able to do this, but this is what I've always called the easy hard trick. And it's probably one of the most important ones to know when you want to move into more advanced rope skipping skills. Now to do this, it's a three-part trick. It's going to be a triple under. You're going to do a side swing. You're going to do a toad and then an open to come out to finish it off. So you're going to want to go side swing, toad, and out. Now the first thing to notice here is what side am I swinging to? Usually pick your strong side. You can do it either to your left side or to your right side. I can do it either way. I prefer doing it on my left just because that's how I learned it and I like my left hand side. I can do it to my right side, but I don't think it looks as good. So I usually do it to my left. Whichever side you pick, you're going to do your side swing to that side. Now from there, you're going to do a toad. Now the key to doing the TJ properly is to make sure that your toad is on the same side as your side swing. So if you're side swinging to your left, you're going to want to do a toad under your left leg. If you're side swinging to your right, you toad under your right leg. So when I go from side swing, toad, and then I'm in a position here just to come out into a regular open jump. So I'm going to go side swing, toad, and out. 
Now, it's good practice to do with any advanced skill or multiple under skill to do these things on the ground multiple times to get an idea of how it's going to feel when you do it in the air. If you just try to do it in the air the first time, a lot of times you'll get a little mixed up because you don't know what you're doing. So just get a good feel for it, <laughs> side swing, toad, and out. And once you've got that down, you're ready to try it in the air. Now, when you're ready to do it, you're going to want to take a nice big jump. Now, a lot of people, when they first do it, they do what's called a cheater jump. They tend to do their side swing, side swing, and then they finally jump when they go up into their toes. So really what they're doing is more of a double under with the TJ, which works when you're learning it, but you want to try to minimize being on the ground during that side swing as much as you can so you're properly doing the TJ. So you want to do your side swing, try to jump right when you're starting that side swing, go up into your toad. Now, an important thing to notice here when you do your toad, you're going to be crossing under this leg. The other leg, if you leave it straight, is going to be in the way. So you're going to want to go ahead and bend that leg so it's out of the way. The best way to do that is to just bring that heel right up to your butt. And I'll be up, heel here, and then back down onto both feet. You don't want to try not to land on one foot. You want to try to land back on both feet when you do this. So you're going to go side swing here, up into your toad where you jump just like that, back down onto both feet when you come open. In the air, it looks like this. You go from side swing and back down. And down. Now, sometimes when you're learning it, I just said don't land on one foot. Sometimes when you're learning, a lot of people do that. They'll kind of have this like little rocker step thing going on when they're landing, and it looks like this. And they'll be there. And that's the only way they seem to be able to do it. Just get the feel for it initially, whether you have to do that or not. But eventually, try to take that rocker out where you're landing on both feet. And one more time. We go up. And back down. And that's the TJ. Now, it's good practice. If you can do those things forward already, try to do them backwards. Try to add some different crosses. Maybe do a double under at the end where you're doing a double under TJ. There's a lot of variations on the TJ that you can do. A double under would look like this. Or you could do it with a double under with a cross. There's so many different things that you can do with the TJ. It's a lot of fun, but that is the basic TJ. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.